Tap. Bring in the Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this, Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. We better get moving. There is the southern access. All squads mass at the gatehouse, now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Squad Charlie, Delta, mass of the gatehouse! That's it? Zaid Masani. You finally tracked me down, Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Oh, 
Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill Vito. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. can use this.
weeds, you son of a bitch. See you in another 20 years. You just cost me 20 years of my life! Ah! Son of a bitch! Ah. You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah? Screw you. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'm doing what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go! You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That is not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... you have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. Can't believe Vito got away. Twenty years of tracking, gone. Just like that. But I gotta let that go. We have more important things to do. You really dodged a bullet down there. It took us to stand up to Zaid, but I'm glad you did. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a Spectre. Why did you fight a Spectre? A Torian named Nihilus. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Torian, and a good Spectre. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care, and continued my pursuit. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. 
My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it. Until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area, I discovered the shipment was slaves to be traded to the Collectors for advanced technology. You supported the slave trade? In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged in questionable practices, but never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The Collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues, and released the captives on the Citadel. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. We'll finish this mission, and live to see the end. I hope you are right. <laughs> <laughs>